In this episode of the podcast, we're going to balance the equation for photosynthesis. If you have not yet gone through the introduction video on how to solve a chemical equation, be sure to do that. Photosynthesis is the primary energy capturing equation for plants. As you can see, the equation is carbon dioxide plus water yields sugar in the form of glucose and oxygen. Our first thing that we must do when we are solving a chemical equation like this, we should draw our T to help us divide reactants and products. Then we write down all of the elements and the number of, of atoms per each of those elements. So in the reactants for photosynthesis, we have one carbon, two hydrogen, and three oxygen. For the react for the products, we have six carbons, twelve hydrogens, and eight oxygens. In solving a large equation like this, it's always a good idea to examine the large molecules and try and fit this change the small ones to fit the large ones. So our largest molecule here is the glucose, C6H12O6. So if I look at the first element, it's carbon. I have one in the reactants and six in the products. So I'm going to want six more carbon, or I want six carbons total. So I'm going to multiply my first chemical, which is carbon dioxide, by six, getting us six carbon, and changing our number of oxygen. Six times the subscript here, two, gets us 12, plus one more is 13, the one coming from water. My carbons are now balanced. The next thing I want to do is try and balance out my hydrogens. I have 12 in the products and only 2 in the reactants. So I'm going to need to multiply my water by 6. That way I get 12 hydrogen and that brings my oxygen total up too. So I have 12 oxygens in the carbon dioxides. I'm going to add that to my six that I'm going to get from water. That's 18. The last step, I have the carbons done. They are balanced. I have the hydrogens done. They are balanced. Now I just need to worry about my oxygens. I have six oxygens currently in my glucose molecule. I had to think of a number that I can get by multiplying by 2 to equal my 18. So if I put a 6 here, if I have 6 diatomic oxygen molecules, that's 12 total. 12 plus the 6 from, uh, from the oxygens in the glucose molecule gets me 18. That is a balanced equation. We have 6 carbons on both sides of our equation. We have 18 on both and 12 for hydrogen. So this fits the law of conservation of mass. We have equal amounts of all the atoms on both sides of our equation. This concludes this episode of the podcast.